for machine. Uh, input 12 volts, output 230 volts, 50 hertz. That's for uh, Europe. And also it have a it have a USB output for charging uh, mobile phones or uh, anything else on 5 volts. And uh, it's two amps out. You know, I want to open this uh, Solartronics uh, first of all to see what's inside because I'm a really curious guy, you know. And second, I want to hack this machine because uh, I want to I want to command it from the distance. So I want to have this on-off switch paralleled uh, with with a remote control. So it will be just a simple hack. Uh, uh, just a, a jack, uh, an audio jack, in fact, 3.5 millimeters, I think, uh, uh, in parallel with, uh, with the on-off switch. It's a very simple way to, to open it and uh, close it from, uh, from a distance, because uh, I have a, a project and it's already working about having this one disconnected completely in, moment, in the moment when the, the, the solar batteries, when my batteries are going uh, lower than 12.1 uh, volts. So uh, for the beginning uh, I think we have to take all these uh, screws out. Uh, there's nothing special about the screws, it's classic uh, uh, Philip, uh, I think uh, R30 or something. So let me take this out. As the screws, like I said, nothing special about. And as you may see, we have the the mains uh, out here, 230 volts and 2,000 watts, and uh, 4,000 watts for a for a, a byte of a second for uh, strong motors, you know, like big fridges or. Anything needs uh, a bigger current for starting general motors. I'm talking about fridges and stuff like that. Okay, so the screws are out. I am not so tight. This is nice. We have two fans here behind. Uh, that's the cooling system. So the fans are uh, on 12 volts and 0.21 amps, 210 milliamps. Okay, made in China. <laughs> Why it's not surprising me? So this machine was made in. March 2018. Okay, I think this is out too. Do we have another one? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. So, as you may see, there is a plate here, and that should go sliding out. You see? You got it? So it's not so hard. We have this top here and this one is sliding very very nice out. Okay, and we can see the things inside. Nice. Okay, so what we got in here? Oh, we have four coils and lots of MOSFET, power MOSFETs, two, four, six, eight, and then another four here, I don't know exactly what's that, I really don't care, another eight the other side, anyway like I told you it's a really really powerful machine, 
what I want to do, like I said, I just want to connect an extra switch, a, rem a kind of remote switch for the machine. Okay, so the mode is done. Uh, as you may see, I already have uh, installed an uh, audio jack in here. It's a 6.3 millimeters audio jack and that goes with on like this and then I'm gonna have a wire and I can remote turn on and off uh, this machine but uh, what I suggest is to have a plastic one so no metal parts uh, as you may see here there are no metal parts from uh, from the switch connected with the case or uh, the case ground and here it's a very simple mode I was just having two wires connected in parallel with the with the normal switch and that's it I think I, we have to turn this uh, off and I have to put the screws back yes everything gets done uh, so the screws are back uh, the case uh, is looking absolutely great you see that's uh, that's the new jack there uh, a male jack I may say 6.3 millimeters it's a normal audio jack and now it's time to let's have a little battery connected to the machine to see if it's still working <laughs> or it's blowing up okay so we have a very sm small battery 12 volts lithium but uh, that should be enough for uh, for now just to to turn it on the screws are too heavy for uh, for this and uh, that's why I have to use it the old way just to turn around a little bit the wires okay let's see yeah it's on okay so now let me show you why i need to do all this mambo jumbo about the wire okay so we have a cable like this i can connect it here and then if i'm doing this from an external switch relay or internet or whatever you know then look the machine is on again so this is my project for for a later automatization to have a remote control for this well thank you for now here we are with some still photos. Uh, the model is uh, TS2000 and uh, something from inside the inverter. I know they are not so great, but at least you can see a little bit what's in there. MOSFETs and all kind of coils and all kind of uh, strong stuffs, you know. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for now.